Hello. Welcome to the Sibley Home today, and thank you for joining us in this opportunity to share a bit of the Christmas season together. You know, it is easy to be caught up in all the busyness of the season, and if we're not careful, we can leave out of our celebration the very reason for celebrating. And that's why it's especially gratifying to us that you've taken the time to be with us and visit today here at Tucked Away and to hear the story of the birth of Jesus. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. Now this was the first census that took place while Cyrenius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for the child to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. 
She wrapped him in swaddling cloths and uh, placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. Now, there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks that night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy of all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. There will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in a swaddling cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, heaven and on earth. Peace to those in whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and they had gone into heaven, the sheriff the shepherds said one to another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in a manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about the child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. However, Mary treasured up all these things in her heart pondered them. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. What child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping? Who may While shepherds watch our keeping, this, this is Christ the King, whom shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him, Lord. The babe, the son of Mary. So bring him incense, gold, and myrrh, come peasant king, to own him, the king of kings, salvation. Let loving hearts enthrone him. This, this is Christ the King, whom shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him, Lord, the best. The Son of Mary. This, this is Christ the King, whom shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him, Lord, the babe, the Son. You know, it always amazes me when I see how God does things. The birth of his, his son Jesus was the event of all time. He intertwined the lives of so many. An emperor, a governor, a common man, Joseph, and a pregnant woman, Mary. Shepherds, an angel, and a host of angels, not to mention the whole Roman world of that day, all had a part in the birth of his son. It all took place in perfect harmony, and according to prophecy, 
some given hundreds of years earlier. You know, I love that Luke included in his narrative that Mary treasured the details of the birth of her firstborn and pondered them in her heart. That must be a woman thing, because the shepherds reacted quite differently. Upon hearing the news, they ran off to see for themselves, and once seen, they went all around spreading the word of the, about the child. But Mary, well, she first took time to personally treasure the event, realizing its profound importance, and to ponder it in her heart, holding it very close for a time. Ha, <laughs> viva la diferencia. Between men and women, God gets it all done, and that's so important. that the time that we've spent together here this morning has been as special for you as it's been to us. Um, we've learned so much more than we could ever tell you in the amount of time that we have, but that's almost always the case. Luke has told us that there was no guest room available for Jesus in which to be born, no space for him, no place for him. Today he still seeks a place, not to be born, but a place to live a place in the hearts of the Marys and shepherds of today, a place in your heart, perhaps. You've made room in your busy life to be with us today. Will you make room in your heart and life for him forever? I sure hope so. For in this decision, there is joy unspeakable and full of glory. Well, as Pastor Scott so often says to us, now we call you blessed. Merry Christmas from the Sibleys and from Cornerstone Family Church. Merry Christmas. <laughs>